Hello everybody and welcome to the all-star break here on youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean and I post videos in baseball every day at 6 p.m. Pacific time. You can also watch on twitch.tv slash Rex. however you're watching. Thank you so much for watching. Let's jump into the all-star game. We're going to advance the day because we're still on the, that Sunday for the final game. But we're going to do the home run derby. We're going to do the all-star game. Those will go up Monday and Tuesday. We have two off-day videos before we're back in MLB The Show on Friday. So let's go ahead and advance the day. Today is the MLB Home Run Derby. One of your team's players has been selected. Would you like to participate? Play Home Run Derby. Now, we're not actually going to play. We're just going to watch. Um, and we'll, we'll make some picks, have some fun. It'll be a good time. Play style standard, round times, four minutes, timeout on. Okay. Ah, this is what I want. Julio is in, which is good. I'm going to select CPU control. Perfect. So here are the participants. I'll flip over to general gameplay. We have Aaron Judge with 29 home runs. Pete Alonso with 29 home runs. So a couple of New York teams represented, or both New York teams represented. Corey Seager with 29 as well. Julio with 28. Shohei Otani with 27. Mike Trout with 25. Kyle Schwarber with 24. And Jorge Soler with 24 as well. Um, let's see, who, who would I want to pick in this? Um, we're in the Rangers stadium. I don't have a great feel for, is Judge a righty or a lefty? I think he's a right-handed bat. Oh, I think it right, right. I think Seager might be a lefty. Rodriguez is a right. Oh, Seager and Otani are both left-handed. Schwarber might be. I would lean towards the right-handed side. Here's the here's the thing. I think Julio Rodriguez will do well, but anytime I ever have a, like my own team in a player from my team, they don't p do particularly well. I think. Oh man, this is this is tough. This is tough. Hmm. Who's who's the pick? Seager, Rodriguez, Otani, Trout. Oh, let me know down in the comments below who your pick was. And, like, be cool. Like, you know, play along. Have fun. And if you're watching in the Twitch chat, Twitch chat, let me know. I think the, the oh man, the big numbers. It's home for Corey Seager, which makes me kind of want to pick him a little bit, but also not because Texas. I think Otani. I think, I think Otani is, Otani's my pick. That's who I'm going to pick for the overall, overall winner. But we'll go round around. Okay, here's your home run derby. Uh, power 97. Rodriguez only at 74. That's why it's kind of hard. Um, at bats. Oh, home runs per at bat. So it'd be Alonzo maybe. Oh shoot, I meant to. So gonna give me a second. Oh, I don't know if I got it. Welcome. To the home run derby. Uh, I think that's when it's fading out. That's okay. Will battle head Easy. to head in a single elimination bracket. In each round, the contestants will be given okay. four minutes to hit his So I'll be uh, okay. All right. So we have Judge is the one. Soler is the eight. Oh, Otani's against Rodriguez, Trout, Seager, Schwarber, Alonso. If this were a real life home run derby, this would actually be awesome. <laughs> Until one hitter is round All right. Who is going to win? Who's our... Okay, so it's Solaire Judge. I'm going to pick Judge. Now hitting. Representing the Miami Marlins. Number 12. Jorge Solaire. All right. Ooh, nothing on that first one. That didn't sound good either. So 0 for 2. That would felt good. It seemed like he got a hold of it. His camera angles are a little tricky to judge. That one's gone. 447. Whoa! First one, he's... he's oh, that one was perfect, perfect. Is that dead center? Oh, that's off. That didn't count? Oh my goodness. I can't believe that didn't count. He's going same spot. That one didn't count either. Oh my gosh. 
Those both hit the top of the wall. That one sounded good. 436. Uh, you'll notice up there at the top, if you hit two, two 440 foot home runs, you get a 30 second bonus. He did that on his first and then struggled until that most recent at bat. Okay, 436. How did that one get out and the other two didn't? In my book, Jorge Soler has five. I can't believe those two didn't get out. That is wild. That was a perfect, perfect swing right there. Way up, 435. About okay. Didn't like that one. Foul? No, that's gonna stay fair. Okay, 424. Solaire in a little bit of a little bit of a groove here. Really pulling down that left field line. So the reason that you would maybe want to pick a right-handed hitter in this is the there's a really gross piece of the wall in right field that I think is going to screw some of the left-handed hitters. So Lair hasn't gone opposite at all. He's gone center, and that's as far as he's gone. Six at the halfway point. It could be really helpful if he was able to get that other 440-footer. 405, and that one counts. He's up to seven. Oh, that one sounded good. Sounded good. It is good. 435. His first home run was the first one, like, was the first 440, and he hasn't hit one since, which I am shocked by. That one could be it. There it is. He earned the bonus 30 seconds. That one's going to pull foul. So do we get Schwarber or Alonzo next? Just one minute remaining. 433 breaks double digits. I think the problem with this mode is there's no commentary. There's 426. Smash. He's pulled a couple just a little too far left. That one might have been out in front a little bit. No, that one stays fair. 447. Solaire's getting into a bit of a groove here. That was crushed. That's about five or six that we've seen pulled that way. And they will give him this last one, see if he can put one on. No. So, 30 seconds of bonus time. He entered with 13 home runs. 15 in my book, because he could not. I can't believe they didn't get out. There's a 421. And that 374 a little bit, that's the part that I think is absolutely heinous. It's the only time he's gone opposite. He should be able to get one more swing here. So long as they let the ball release. Three, two, one. It's gone. Perfect. Perfect. Should be number 17. Solar was perfect in the final 30 seconds. What's a... Wow. 17. And he will have to wait to see if that's enough. We will have to wait to see if it's enough. We have Aaron Judge coming up here from the AL. This is the stadium he hit the record-breaking 62nd home run in the was it, 2022 season. They even put a plaque about it. It was wild watching that happen. Somebody jumped down because they thought, like, oh, I got to... Ooh, not a good start. Judge slices it to the opposite field. There it is. That one is straight away center. 452. Solaire got just the worst matchup. 439. 
Judge might not even need the extra 30 seconds. But that could be the difference for Solaire. Gave him four extra pitches, and that, that hit right there. Granted, Judge is a right-handed hitter hitting that to the opposite side. That little indent and raise of the fence is why I think a right-handed hitter is going to do well. Judge kind of... There. There's a little something. Two in the first minute. Not great. 438 for the third home run. Keeps going opposite like he's just a touch late. So there's an 8 seed. Judge is the one. I thought that was going to hook way more foul, but it was clear by a large margin. Might have to pick up the pace just a touch here. He's got to stop going opposite field. I believe in his power, but I don't think it's a good, a good thing for him to try consistently. There's another one. Okay. Aaron Judge making me look like an idiot. Might have gotten that one off the end of the bat a little bit, but he does have the power. Drops. There's a perfect, perfect. So he has seven in the first half. He's going to need 10 or 11 to win in the second two minutes. He does have that bonus. 30 seconds could be Solaire's undoing. This is a lot closer than I thought it would be. I thought Judge would come out and probably be close to wrapping this up at this point. But he just hasn't gotten into a good rhythm. Solaire was by no means perfect, but it was also like he had a couple of really good stretches where it was three or four in a row. That one. Gone. That one is still good. It looks like he's going to pull it. Pull it foul. It's staying fair. He's into a rhythm now. 11 to go. He needs seven to win. Take right there. Just one minute remaining. Smash out to left field. The ad the advantage that you would have as the the higher seed would be that you don't have to use all the time. You don't have to see as many if you know what you're trying to chase. Six consecutive home runs. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds. Four blasts to win. He does have the thirty seconds of bonus time. I think Solaire was able to add four. You're talking about a, a round that needed extra time for both participants. Is that going to go? Is that going to go? If Judge didn't get the 30 seconds, he would have lost. That's incredible. We do have the bonus time. That one's short. You only get about four pitches with how long it takes for the camera scene to play out. That'll tie it. Did he get that one? Felt a little under. He got it. With him, he would have had one pitch left, and he might not have even gotten that pitch. Judge needed every bit of that as we take a look at the spray chart between both of these guys. And you can see, we're going to see, I think, two, maybe three opposite field, which is going to be that right side of the screen. There's one. That one was for Judge. Two for Judge. Man, so Solaire comes up short, and it was the two that hit the top of the, uh, hit the top of the wall in center field. That is wild. That is absolutely wild.
There's the Solaire opposite field shot. Yeah, three of them there. I thought it was going to be a runaway performance for Judge. Solaire did an excellent job to make it interesting. We'll see who's up next. Ideally, it would be the Schwarber Alonzo one, but it's going to be Otani, and that way you would give them the most rest time. Up first in this head -to -head but it is Shohei Otani taking on Julio Rodriguez. Number 17. Otani is a left-handed bat. We'll see if that wall gets him, bites him at all. Otani was my pick. Cracks that to center field. So there, so far, the only guy to have a home run on the very first pitch. And Rodriguez is the higher seed so he will be the chaser Shohei Otani picks up his first and much like Judge when you see that swing it just looks like it's, it's a little earlier it's off the bat it's either going to pull foul or not get out of the out of the yard but these guys have so much power it does not matter that one well short. That one sounded good as Otani. Drives his third home run out of the ballpark. None of the bonus time distances yet, as they finally tell you. So three in the first minute. If he keeps up the pace, obviously it'd be 12. Back of the bat, just out of the yard, 367, laser out. That one's hooking foul. Otani not doing great in rhythm or anything. 412, that's number five. Still right about the 12 home run pace, but it's getting a little tight. And still no 440 home run. That one's low. I am shocked that he does not even have one of the 244, 240 home run blasts. It'll be interesting, whoever comes out of this, whether it's Otani or whether it's Julio Rodriguez, it's going to be interesting to see if Judge can pick it up a little bit earlier. He really should not have needed as much time as Solaire did. The idea of being that lower seed is like, yeah, it took me two and a half minutes to beat you, not the, four full, uh, the full 430. Otani keeps yanking him foul. I might have I might have jinxed uh, Otani. There's the first of the two 440s. It didn't sound like he got a whole lot of it, but might still have the power to drive it out. 433, under a minute to go. He's sitting at 10. He's getting into a bit of a rhythm here. He's gone to that same spot-ish three times now. 376. Number 11. There's a big crack of the bat. See if that's enough to get him that extra 30 seconds. 438 just short. He's right at that pace he was after the first minute. 402, 20 seconds. He'll probably look at three more pitches, including this one. 425. He might actually, this might be the last one. He needs that one to get out quick. It kind of does. 392. They're going to let it go. Might have got under it a little bit. 15. And no bonus time. 
and he finishes with an wow. impressive 15 home runs. And he will have to wait to see if that holds up. Okay, here he is, Julio, our guy. And now, the challenger representing the Seattle Mariners. Let's go, Julio. Julio. Have a good show. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, that one yanked foul. Solaire crushed that first one, and none of the other guys have gotten off to great starts. One of the worst parts about the All-Star game, I, well, home run derby, I should say. They just have, like, a bunch of kids out there, which, like, sounds like a good idea, and you'd go, like, oh, Sean, why, <laughs> Sean, why would you be so mad about that? Kids get hit with balls hit by professional baseball players. Like, that's not good. See if Julio can sneak it out. This might be the, maybe the lone round where we don't see either contestant hit the 440 mark for both bonus times. Julio Rodriguez is only like a 76 power. That one's a little low. He's... He's got to get going here a little bit. He's a touch behind. He's sitting at a 12 home run pace through the first minute. Now here's a perfect, perfect to the opposite field. That might be half of his home runs going left and right field. Tries to go to center, but I don't think that's going to be enough. No. Warning track power. Shohei Otani, Aaron Judge is going to be a very interesting matchup if that is what is next. Rodriguez has fallen off greatly here. We're going to probably see it in the All-Star game. One of my pitchers will get in and they'll just get rocked for a bunch of runs because their rating is low, but I know how to do the... use the... Oh, is that one going to sneak out? Yes, just barely 395. He's going to have to get 10 in the next two minutes. Not a single 440 yet. He keeps going to the opposite field. They are sneaking out, though. That one sounded... Nope, nope. That one fouled again. Oh, my goodness. Man, this is... what I tell you? I said don't pick people that end up on in games on my team. Julio did have a very good pitcher last year. You can see that wind-up step there. Uh, the guy who was throwing Julio's didn't have the step. He would just just lob it. Everybody else had like a step, which meant that Julio got to see more up uh, had got to see more balls to try and smack. I don't love the home run derby format. Um, I think everybody should see the same number and then everyone should like like it sucks to watch it kind of sucks to watch someone hit for four minutes and then somebody else beats that in like a minute 30 you know see if Rodriguez can break double digits uh, this was a weird round that was a perfect perfect Still might not have enough to get out. Oh, 446. He hit one. Shohei advances to the next round. I love Julio. I'm a huge Julio fan, but the players I put in do not typically participate. Or, uh, He's been eliminated from the competition. Not usually compete all that well. At one point, you're looking at so you're looking at the spray chart right now. <clears throat> Julio has more opposite field home runs. 
you need him to pull a little more to the left, a little more consistently. You can see Otani is just over there. He's just on the right side. And that will do it for that side of the bracket. We should be looking at Seeger Trout next. A couple of AL West competitors. We have a couple of NL East competitors. Trout not getting any sort of response, which is weird. Wow, there's the cheer. That one did not sound good. Oh, I didn't make a pick. Uh, I think Seeger, home stadium. I'd, I'd, I'd pick, uh, I'll take a Corey Seeger in this round. And it's still early, but we have not seen a lower, or the higher seed really take advantage of being the higher seed. Judge got it, but it was way closer. And even if you get one of those two that went off the top of the fence, then you, well, oh, it gets real interesting. They're going to call that a home run. Trout for two homers. Trout and Rodriguez would both have a touch more familiarity in this park than some of the other competitors because they are in the American League West. Doesn't really seem to give them any sort of advantage. That one sounded good off the bat of Trout. 444, there's the first. 440 home run. And 423 to follow that up. Get into a bit of a rhythm here. It's going to stay fair. It will. 444 again. 30 seconds of bonus time. 30 seconds of bonus time. Smash. And again, fair. No. Never call that one a foul ball. Smashes that one way too early. That was a perfect, perfect line drive. Homer for 400 feet. On pace for 14 through the halfway mark. No one's used the timeout. I don't think it really matters. 436. Forty-seven, his third 440 plus home run today. This one's going opposite field and gets out 377. That wall is 374. That height makes it even worse. Foul ball for Mike Trout. Sitting at 10. One minute to go. He does get that extra 30 seconds. It would be nice to see everyone bat either the same number of balls or for the same amount of time. Because, like, Otani is going to get to go to the next round, even though Soler performed better. And that sucks. So if everyone got 40 pitches, which I believe is what they're doing this year, or everyone hit for four minutes, and then you just take the four best, the four... The top four, the top two, and then the best one. I know you're, you know, you're worried about players getting gassed or whatever, but see if there's a way to break it up a little bit more. That is where it's really the bummer. It's like Vlad Guerrero Jr. hits 17 just because his the person he's playing didn't have a great day, which I want to say was Pete Alonso. Which, if I'm wrong about that, I'm sorry to Pete Alonzo. But then, like, Rushman's putting up 25, and that's not enough to go. That, that sucks. He had a better round. It's 
20 seconds here for Mike Trout. He was about to maybe get number 17 out of the yard. 30 seconds of bonus time coming his way, and that will do it. So he would. No. Bop. Uh, so that's the last of the regular time. Able to tie Aaron Judge at 18. Oh, that ended the run. That was the bonus time. My bad. That's on me. Sorry about that. And I'll have to hope that's enough to advance. Whoopsie daisy. Up to the plate. The challenger representing the Texas Rangers. People do not like these. I think they look fun. I like the colors. I don't know that I love the cream, but I do like kind of the, the blue and the peach. The NL looks nice as well. Alrighty, let's see okay. What Seager fouls off the first pitch. So Lair's still the only player to homer on pitch number one. That one felt foul as well. There he goes. Perfect, perfect contact. That one is deep. 451. His first home run goes for the first half of the bonus time. Seeger is my pick in this round. That one's 464, and his first two give him the bonus time. Four thirty six at number or number three is at four thirty six. Three ninety. He is it's a touch under Mike Trout there. He's on a pace for sixteen home runs here, four per minute. That bonus 30 seconds, though, would tie them at 18. That was a, an absolute moonshot. 4.55. My goodness. When he is getting a hold of them, he is absolutely rocketing them into the outfield. 462. He is piling up bonus time home runs, even though he already has the two. Starting to slip below the pace he needs to be at. He needs a couple more. Maybe one more right here? No. Currently sitting at a pace of 12 through the halfway points. It's three bad balls in a row, unless this one's able to carry. No. Oh, yeah. It did, 417, that could be a big one. They just keep hooking foul on him. Saw the same thing happen with Julio. There's 402, gets him a little more on, or he gets him back on track. That is perfect, perfect. 447, able to bend that around the pole. Wild to see a perfect, perfect hook that much, or feel like it's hooking that much. 437 in a, in a nice rhythm. That was home run number 10. That one hooked too far foul. So he's going to realistically probably, probably need to get another five in this next minute, or I guess four in this next minute. That would put him at 15. He can squeak out six. In that same time frame, he would only need two in 30 seconds. That's pretty doable. If you need three in the final 30, that's where I think it starts to get real tight. That one stays around the foul pole, and that one is home run number 13. That one's staying fair as well. There's 14. 30 seconds. That one. That one's got to be foul. 30 seconds left. Smacked it pretty well to dead center. I was wrong last time I called it. And I would have been wrong that time as well. 30, 435 on that one. That one's hooking. Probably will stay fair though. 432. 
10 seconds. Seager, he'll need two to win in bonus time. That one sliced. You're going to do about four, maybe five pitches if you get a quick exit. There's one, 17. I guess he needs three, actually. Excuse me. That one, that's got to be foul. Ten. He's going to get two shots, maybe. Has to make that one count, but it's going to the opposite side of the field. He's going to run out of time if it doesn't get out. It's 417. It's 18. Longest is 464, so I'm going to guess that that's how they're going to make the tie-breaking determination. Wow. That was a good one. So Seeger, I believe, is going to move on here. He absolutely crushed some of those early home runs. And again, another high seed that needed every possible second. It's a good, it's good. Hey, they're putting together good matchups. Spray charts are very interesting here. Seeger really staying on his side of the plate. Like me, he might get one, I think, that goes to the left side. Trout still, you know, very much pulls to his side, but did spray a couple to the opposite field. There's the one. Oh. Oh. Chew. Chew, pardon me. They fixed the thing on OBS. I didn't know where I was looking. Oh, crap. I didn't get the, I didn't get the rules. I was waiting for it to say, oh, dang it. I don't know what the rules are. So we are going to a tiebreaker. Was it were there both longest both literally 464? So a one minute bonus round. Probably a solid eight pitches. Trout going back to back in that same spot. Ooh, going opposite field. Might have the power. Got it. 394 for number three. Ooh, first bad. First bad bat of the round. That is pitch number five right around 30 seconds. I'm going to get into the bullpen. 408. Oh, is that going to stay? It will. Two? Probably actually just one. So he's had six. This would be seven. If it gets out quick. If it gets out quick. 363. Two. One. Okay. You're looking at eight pitches. And Trout was nearly perfect. He was seven for eight. Wow. He ends the round with seven home runs. And he will have to wait to see if that's enough. Seven of eight. Seeger has to be literally perfect to win. Now hitting in the tiebreaker from the Texas Rangers, number five, Corey Seeger. His pitcher's also going to need to get him eight pitches. One. That's his lone, that's the lone miss he can have. And I don't know that that one's going to go. It might have the distance. 430, okay. Mike Trout, I think, is going to win. Seager has to get... He has to get out, and they have to get out quick. He's missed three now. Wow, Mike Trout at the tiebreaker round. 
cruises his way to a victory in my first incorrect pick. That's what I get. That's what I get for doubting Trout. Nah, I think you would look. You would look at that round and go, "Ooh, Seager really." Seager needed every second he could possibly get his hands on. He was two for seven, two for eight. Wow. He finishes with two home runs. Wow. And that that's such that's an incredibly impressive performance from Mike Trout in the extra eliminated. round. Two, three. He was all over the field. All over the field that time. So Mike Trout advances. He will be the sixth seed. It's going to be Kyle Schwarber taking on Pete Alonzo. I like Alonzo in this. Uh, but I don't dislike Kyle Schwarber. Now you know what I mean? Representing the Philadelphia Phillies. Number 12. Oh, so we have a lefty and a righty. I'm, I am picking Trout. Trout is my pick. All of the lefties have played National League. No, the uh, Seager was American League. Sorry. I, for whatever reason, I, I think of him as a Dodger. Oh, wow. Still over. Schwarber has pulled three into foul territory, and that one might not have enough. He's going right for that awful wall. It was well short anyway. 30 seconds have gone, and he is still has... Still has a goose egg on the board, but that should change with home run number one. And it is a 440 bomb. One of the two for, needed for bonus time. 438 is a touch short of the second one. Schwarber into a bit of a rhythm here. This is what you want to see. This is an excellent 30 seconds. Three straight. That is a perfect, perfect moon shot. That's got to be 440. Way up there, 454. And we'll take a look at the... We'll get ex an extra 30 seconds. So it was a bad 30 seconds, an excellent about 45, 40 seconds or so. He's right back on it. Probably looking at about, what, 12 maybe? 13. Pace of 12 or 13 here. 429. There is a pretty good carry out to center where it just we have I've seen so many of them in this video that just are like, oh, man, it does not look like it's going to get out and carries just enough. And we oddly enough, the first two that looked like they were going to go were off the wall and no good. 448 for number seven on pace for about 14. If he just doubles his first two minutes. And then maybe three in the next, so 17 would probably be the number for Alonzo. Got a hold of that one. Off to a good start at the halfway point, 444. going to stay. Again, that swing looked like it was going to pull, pull foul. The rare pitch take. Just one minute remaining. That is the wall. Schwarber still pulling a lot of them foul. See if he can have a strong final 30 seconds here. 
So it looks like he's fallen off. I didn't trust that one was going to drop before the before the wall. That one pulled foul yet again. 25 seconds. Should give him another three pitches. You could realistically look at... Okay, never mind. Probably another two, three if you're absolutely cruising. That one gets out quickly enough. I think it's just going to be one more pitch. So 13. This one can do number 14. And it does. All right. So 14 for Schwarber. Not a good pitch on the first one. You're going to get four if you're really lucky. That's two. If you're really lucky, you'll get five. Got pitch number four. Two for two. Three, two, one. No, he did not get lucky. That other one, the last home run he hit just stayed up in the air a little too long. 16's not terrible, though. They're not holding the phone correctly at all. When I take a selfie, I obviously I, I hold my phone straight to the straight to the sky. All right, so here is my pick for the round, Pete Alonzo. Lawns up with a big swing and miss there. And a cr towering crack for home run number one. Alonzo on the board a little bit quicker than Schwarber was. Still have not seen anyone other than Solaire get that first pitch out. Alonzo looks a little early here. I have a rough 30 seconds for both. NL East competitors. Feels like a good swing on it. And that'll get out. 432. There's a perfect, perfect rush to left center. That is 451, and that'll do it. Hoo, 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 hoo. Absolutely smash. He's going to do what Corey Seeger did earlier. Back-to-back -back home runs. It's going to give him that bonus 30 seconds. He is sitting right at 16 if he keeps this pace for the remainder th remaining three minutes, which means he would just need one pitch in the bonus round to beat him. But a rough couple of pitches there, sliced. That one's cracked out to left, and that'll go. Number six. Alonzo, the last competitor here in this opening round that has an opportunity to not need every every possible second. We have not seen anyone come in and, like, leave a minute, 45 seconds on the clock. Bellinger needed every second to send it to a tiebreaker where he got obliterated. Ooh, yanked that one well foul. Still on pace there for 16 at the halfway point. Four forty-five for Alonzo. Didn't seem like he got enough of it, but could have the power. No. Oh. Rough couple of pitches. Swing and a miss. That one hooked foul. Okay, it's getting a little dicey here for Alonzo with under 90 seconds to go. See if he can get this one to carry out. Oh, wow. Well out. 438. Smashed. Perfect, perfect. That's the kind of home run that you're looking for in the, the final 30 seconds. 11. If he gets this out, he's somehow still on pace. And he does. Now, 
Okay. Can he get there without needing the extra time? Kind of leaned out over the edge there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Just barely got it out. He keeps going center. He's just going further towards center. Sir, you got to pull it the other way. Pull it the other way. There you go. There you go. That's number 15. One more to tie, two to win. That one is smoked. Four seventy-two for the win. For the win. That one's gone. No, what? Okay. Last one. No. Is he gonna go opposite field for the win? Yes. 420. So he technically did need the bonus time, so nobody nobody able to run away with it. It's a very good a very competitive round. The only one that you would flip would be the Rodriguez Otani one. And Otani only had to go the full four minutes because he was the lower seed. So that's that's interesting. So I think I think the pick is judge here in this one. Up first, Otani didn't get the. Uh, wait, Shohei Otani's my overall pick. I um, Otani did not get either 440, or did he get one? He didn't get the bonus time. So we'll see what we can do. My overall pick, Shohei Otani. However, watch, after watching the first round, I would pick Aaron Judge in this. So either way, I get to be right on this side, which is pretty interesting. It's a better start here for Otani. First couple out of the yard. I just feel like Otani would be blasting these a lot further. There's the first of the two needed for the bonus time, 448. Felt like he hit that pretty well. Oh, just a touch short at 437. Four thirty-four. Now Tani with a nice stretch here. And that will give him the bonus 30 seconds. Perfect, perfect to the opposite field. And that is not enough. Foul tip, strike three. Otani, another perfect, perfect shot to the right center. 449. He is on a tremendous pace right now. This is why I picked him as the overall winner. He is on a much better pace and a much better trajectory with his balls. He hit so many of them out of the, out into the, the out, or foul in the first round is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, 24. He is on pace for 24, which would easily be the most that we've seen. I don't know that that one has it. Ooh, a little, little rusty here at the halfway point. Big swing from Otani there. He was, he was at a, per, a pace of 24, 40 seconds ago. See if that one can stay fair. It does. At 431 feet, so a couple more for Otani. That is the kind of pace you want. You want to see that ball just get out of the yard. It'll be interesting to see if we can get anybody to break 20. Technically, Trout did it, but not in four or four and a half minutes. 
451. Now Tawny with those back cracks, you can hear him in a rhythm, 472. This is what you expect out of him. This is why he is my overall pick. This first round was a little lackluster. He already has more than he did in four minutes in the first round with uh, still a few pitches left to go. Boom. We have seen a couple of weird spots like this throughout his run. He was on an incredible pace. That one is a little dribbler. Last one of the of regulation, I should say. That one is fair. 371. So 18 as we enter the bonus time. I think realistically you would probably max out at 23. Five pitches at best. Four pitches a lot more likely. This is three. He's probably only going to get four with how these are going out. Get one more here. Can top out at 22. And... There's the crowd. There it is. And he does. So he goes 18 in the first four minutes and a perfect four for four in the bonus 30 seconds. It's a tall task for Judge. Do I pick to win this round? But Otani was my pick to win. I thought Otani was just such a lackluster first round. So if Judge can get 10 in the first two minutes and avoid the 40-second lull that Otani had, I think that's... I think you probably even maybe go nine. Nine in the first two minutes. I don't think you would want to, because then you would need to go perfect. For Judge to have a shot, I think you got to see ten by the two-minute mark. That one is absolutely blasted. Hey, no doubt, 460-footer. I went down to get that one. A little bit of a golf swing there. And it's short. Okay, so not a great start for Judge here. Only a couple in the first 45 seconds. If you're going to have the lull or the rough spot, why not have it at the beginning? short. On pace for eight. There it is. His third home run. Ooh. That one zipped out. Okay. There you go. Get into a rhythm. I think you could you could still look at nine, but it's it's go time here. He's gonna need a real strong start to this final two minutes. Otani probably could have put this one away with a couple more home runs between in that four set 40 second lull that I was talking about Aaron judge is on pace for 12 it did take him a lot to get Soler out and it's only seated based on the number of home runs that you have judge is just he's fighting the deep part of the park Taking too long to get out. It's, it's over. Shohei is going to move on. And he will face the winner of Alonzo and Trout. That's a tough, that's a tough pick right there. Alonzo. I mean, Trout. Alonzo was the only... 
We still need a bonus time. Just one minute. Man, remaining. that's that. This next round is really tough. This is a brutal round. Judges, you need a bonus 30 seconds, but it's just mathematically impossible. An incredible 22 home runs by Otani. And 12 of those were in the first two minutes. The last two and a half minutes, he only went for 10. The fact is, is it took Aaron Judge four plus minutes to get to what Otani did in two minutes. So that's that's where you would look at it. Otani had, has performed so well that if you flip his his seeding with his opponent, he would be what I'm talking about of like just demolishing. Demolishing an opponent with a lot of time left over. But we have seen full rounds from just about everybody minus maybe 10 to 15 seconds total. That's not quite enough. He's been eliminated. Judge did not have a very good showing, I would say. His first round took everything that he had to get past the eight-seeded uh, Jorge Soler. And then Otani just clubbed Homer after Homer in this one. So Judge's day is done. Otani awaits the winner of Trout and Alonzo, who I do not have a pick for. I cannot figure out which direction I want to go. My gut says Alonzo, but Trout... My gut says Alonzo. If it was just kind of like, eh, which one? Because Bellinger... But Bellinger really had to fight to get... Or Seager, excuse me, had to, really had to fight to get Trout out. I think I'm going to go with Trout. I think I'm going to pick Trout. The two versus the six. If Trout were to win, it would give Otani his first, like, going second. And then, like, Otani's probably going to demolish her. But he hit 25? 25 total in the five and a half minutes. Whoops. He did have a yet 18. First couple missed, but that one goes for 449, and we're halfway to the bonus time. Trout rips this one down the left field line. Trout goes opposite field, 383. That one is cracked up and out of play. I don't even think it was long enough, so it didn't matter. Crashing this one out left center. 405. So on pace for 12. Three minutes to go. Do you expect him to get into a bit of a rhythm? His seven out of eight pitches in that overtime period is incredible. Let's see if he can have one of those minutes here. That's two. Oh, I jinxed it. Commentator's curse. Sorry, Trout. This one's sailing. Three. Six, 
There's four. Ooh, darn, that's... I don't think it's going to be enough now. Four for seven. He ups his, he ups his pace by three. I mean, a five for eight minute isn't bad. A five for eight minute isn't bad. Now on pace for 16 through the first half. There's a good start to the back half. Correct. 447. Oh. 425. Now forty one. Coming into the final minute or so. Be on pace for what, 16? Just one minute remaining. No 17, time. maybe 18. That would be right at where he was at the end of the first round, would be 18. I think realistically you're probably looking at no, you, well, you get four, maybe five at 30 seconds, five, maybe six here. That one got out pretty quick. I don't think 18's out of the realm of possibility. He's chasing that hard part of the park. 401. Does he get three more pitches here or is it just two? It's gonna be it's gonna be three from that 21 second mark, and that can get him right at 18. I think he yanked it foul, well foul. So 17, and then again four, maybe five if you're absolutely blasting home runs out of here at a very very quick pace. But it's about seven seconds between every one of them. Three for three. I think you're looking at four here, so that'll put him at 21 if he can knock it out. Final. Trout with 21, my pick. Looked pretty good. Pretty good. It's an improvement over the first round. With 21 home runs. And I'll have to hope that's enough to advance. And again, you're looking at it where it's just kind of like. He's having those excellent extra times. He's having the excellent overtime. I think it was a perfect four for four, three for four. No, it was four for four because he was at 17. Pete Alonzo hit 17 in the first round. That was all he had to hit. I don't think he would have gotten much more. 18, maybe 19. But we'll see what he can do here. The clock has started in this semifinal matchup. He yanks it foul. Solaire, I think, still the first, the only guy. And Alonzo, the polar bear himself. Get on the board easily, 448. First one at 30 seconds. Neither New York guy in this semifinals round has gotten off to a good start. Alonzo's gonna look at maybe at best on pace for 12. Oof, he's on pace for eight. Three minutes to go. Oh, we're on pace for 12. We'll give him on pace for 12. See how this second minute goes. Oh, 
Alonzo's getting a lot of air under it. It's taking a long time for the ball to get down. I think with this rate, so it's two in about 20 seconds. It's fine. Oof. He also needs the second 440 foot blast. There it is. So the bonus 30 seconds are good. A little out front. Is it gonna stay? Oh, it's off the off the foul pole. That helps him get to a pace of 16. He has the bonus 30 seconds. He's gonna need to pick it up just a touch. Ooh, that's not gonna do. Not gonna do it because you're not gonna get five pitches in the 30 seconds. There's 467. He has to get to 18 to even really have a shot at it. But Mike trots my pick. I think even though that's perfect, perfect, I might stay down. Mike Trout would go first. That would be Otani chasing. Just one minute remaining. All right, Alonzo's got to have a five or six home run minute here. Foul. Ooh, you can't have that. You're just not going to get five pitches. And you would have to be perfect. 30 seconds left. If you are a perfect four for four in these last 30 seconds, you might have a shot at at least tying it. It's got to go. Got to go. 14. Ooh. That might seal the deal for Mike Trout. I'm going to stay. Should. 461. All right, that might do it. That's it. Mike Trout's moving on. You were going to have to get the best number of pitches possible, which we I don't know that we've seen five pitches. And if we have, it was like once. And you'd had to be perfect. He is going to come up just short. Looking at maybe 19. If he got that first one, that'd be 20. I don't think that's going to get out. Mike Trout of the Los Angeles. He finishes with an astounding... The Los Angeles boys, two Los Angeles's, two New York's, L.A. better than New York this time around. So this is this is interesting for Otani. It's his first time going second. He's kind of clobbered his opponents. I think Mike Trout's going to be the most, the biggest... Uh, his biggest challenge. Aaron Judge, I think, on paper would be his biggest challenge, but Aaron Judge did not have a good first round. Mike Trout is getting off to a good start. 427, the rare first swing home run. Followed up, unfortunately, by a foul ball. Four thirty-five. Shout is off to an absolutely. He's off to a red hot start here. And already has the bonus time. That's good. Four thirty-six. Last pitch of the first minute will set the tone. He's on pace for 20. 
that one doesn't have enough to go. Otani dispatched Aaron Judge with ease, and that included a pretty big rough patch in his, uh, his four-minute spot, so we'll see. I think the best pace we've seen at the halfway point is 12. I think it's actually pretty easily 12, or clearly 12. Some guys have really lagged behind. Trap could be the only... Off the top of my head, the only guy to hit double digits at the halfway point. That one is ripped out. All right, so 18. He has had incredible, incredible extra times. You don't like almost like you just tack on four more. Okay, good take there. Four forty nine. That one's got to go foul. Under ninety seconds. That one sounded good. Perfect, perfect. Four sixty five. Ooh, way foul. Way foul. Fourteen with a minute to go here. Three seventy seven. Nothing to go. Nothing doing. Probably looking at nine pitches with 37 seconds left. That includes that pitch and includes the four that you're likely to get in the bonus time. So there's one. There's two. So you could be looking at 24 that Otani needs to beat. If Trout is perfect, that's three for three. You might only get one more pitch here in the... Time allotted, I think he will only yeah. get, so that's going to cut it down to 23. And here is the bonus round. I think that threw me off last time because it was just so perfectly sunk up. Oh, Trout not perfect in this one. Probably max out at 22. Still the max at 22. Likely to get two more pitches here. Trout perfect, perfect on that. Absolutely blasted. 474. One more pitch. Sounded like he got that off the end of the bat a little bit, but it is Mike Trout. He has a lot of power. But it does not go. So 21 with a long of 474. And that is the number that Otani is chasing. He was able to get 22 in the with the bonus time. And now the challenger in this championship round, number 17, Shohei Otani. Otani was my pick to win the whole thing. Here we go. Let's see what he can do. Challenge in the opposite field there. Just a little short. Oh, not a good start. There it is. There's number one. Now, Otani did not get bonus time in the first round. There's two. That one is gone. His second home run. Foul. Way foul. Nope.
Yep. That one's going. 398. On a pace for 12. Oh, going to be on a pace for 16. Just kidding. Demolished that one. 449, and that's half of the bonus time requirement. Oh, that should get it there. He's in a groove now. He has that incredible minute that we've seen Mike Trout have. That one should stay fair. Is that three for three here in this minute? Two for two or at least. Ooh, that's not what you're looking for. He'll be on pace with Trout. He's got to get... He has to get at least another three. There's 439. Foul. Eight isn't a terrible position to be in. But he's it's getting, it's getting tight at that point. Sailing, sailing, sailing to center field. So right at the two minute mark, he hits home run number nine. So he's right in that 16 to 18. 16 to 18 range. Ooh, this was this was where Otani struggled last time. But he had three more home runs to work with. I didn't think that was was gonna get out, which is why I started that sentence. It's a challenge in the opposite field and a rare foul ball to the opposite side. There he goes. Under 90 seconds to go. He is, realistically, he's, he has to have, he has to have 17 at the end. 18 is going to be the number that you're going to want. It's unfortunately a little too, ooh, that'll stay, that'll stay. One big minute here for Otani can change the whole thing. Oh, it's perfect, perfect. That's 15. 40 seconds. He needs a couple of these to get out a little bit quicker. 445, he trails by five, 30 seconds to go. Obviously 30 seconds of bonus time, so nothing. Oh, I don't know. He needs, he has to get two more. One more at least. Okay. Oh, he keeps challenging center field. It has good carry out there, but the time it takes is just so long. That one's way short. If he can get this one out, should be good. All right. Bonus time. Nope. That's it. That's the one miss you can have. Unless that was the one miss that it's going to give him that extra pitch. Foul. Oh, we challenge the big part of the park again. It's going to cost him the derby. Unless they give it to him. One, zero. Oh, it's over by one home run. That is how tight that timer is. You could get four Five, if you are the luckiest person on the planet, Mike Trout coming away with the victory. It was a very exciting home run derby. Came down to it. We did not get any shortage of time there. That is wild. 18, 21, 21. That 18 does not count the perfect, not the nearly perfect, I should say. The absolutely masterful seven for eight in the final minute. Whew. Hey, that was uh, that was a good time. Let's let's take a look at something here because the the format that I would love to see everyone bats for four minutes. We have kind of a good basis for this because everybody batted for four minutes and no one walked away with that much extra time. I think maybe Alonzo did against Kyle Schwarber, uh, but still needed the four minutes. So you could maybe tack on one more home run to that for for Pete Alonzo. Uh, 
And that would put Trout, Seager, Alonzo, and Judge in there. And it would eliminate Otani, Jorge Soler, Julio Rodriguez, and Kyle Schwarber. And I think that's what's interesting about it is it would eliminate the eventual, like, second place finisher just because... And he didn't even have a good first round. He went first and still only got 15. I think that would make it more interesting. And then you go into the semifinals. And it still is. It's the two guys, you know, because they were the lower seed and they the other two were chasing. So it, it didn't really make that much of a difference in this one. But I would like to see where, hey, if you hit 27 bombs and you get knocked out by someone who hits 29, but then someone gets to, like, sneak through with 15, that sucks. That sucks as a fan because it's just like, well, what's the point? Like, you just got a bad matchup when you can just have everyone bat the same amount of time or for the same number of balls and put the best four rounds forward. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, that was a very exciting home run derby. We'll go ahead and exit. Confirm exit. And uh, Mike Trout. Mike Trout's your champion there. And the 2024 Home Run Derby. There you are. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the All-Star Break content. I thought it was more, it was fun to watch. So hopefully you enjoyed. Normally I'd just like let it run and then like do other stuff. But uh, yeah, I figured I would change it up and uh, be, be in it. And maybe people would be more interested. If not, hey, that's cool too. It, it doesn't have any commentary, which makes it like a really bad, really bad watch. So sorry about that. Um, hey. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you'd like more, subscribe here. I post baseball games every day at 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on the channel. We have a couple off days of content coming up for you. We'll be back on Friday with more Mariners baseball. We'll be back tomorrow with the All-Star Game. Ring the bell down below if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos. You can watch more baseball right here. You can check out this morning's video up here, which I don't know what it is because I have not recorded it. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll catch you tomorrow for the All-Star Game or Friday for Houston taking on the Seattle Mariners. Good sports. Good night. Happy dingers.